I'm really hungry, but I'm not in the mood. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have noticed that I didn't film a empties for May and it's time for June empties as well. I have been collecting all the products that I've been using since the beginning of May. So this is going to be a bit of a long one so please bear with me. I've kind of split them up into categories with there being kind of like a couple of each type of product. So let's get going. Firstly, I'm going to start off with foundation. So I actually ran out of three foundations this month. Don't know what that says about me but I've managed to run out of three foundations and they're three different brands of foundations which also shows that I am not loyal to a foundation brand. So firstly I want to start off with the Rimmel Conceal and Define Foundation. I am in the shade F5 for anybody wondering and this is actually a foundation that I have bought again and I'm using at the moment. This is one of my kind of favourite more modern releases of foundation. I used to be obsessed with the Rimmel London Wake Me Up foundation with the orange lid and for me this is actually really similar. It's full coverage so for those girls who like to obviously go for a full face each day I would say this is great but I wouldn't say that it's super 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 full coverage like when it's on I can still kind of see maybe a few bumps underneath but I don't necessarily mind that and I do sometimes make it a little bit more dewy and a little bit more daytime with the Revolution liquid highlighter so I mix those two together and then it creates more of kind of like a glowy look like I've got on today. So yeah I thoroughly love this foundation, I would definitely recommend it for those who like full coverage but don't really like spending a lot on their foundation especially someone like me who's maybe on a weekend sitting and creating five different looks like this is perfect for me because I'm sitting there and wiping it off putting it straight back on again so next I've got the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Foundation and I really liked the so bear with me these two are obviously from two different brands we know what you did Makeup Revolution this is the Makeup Revolution's packaging with this little brush applicator. Here's Tarte's packaging, exactly the same. Brush applicator. I would basically say that Makeup Revolution have taken this and made it more cost effective and have made the brush actually better. I much preferred the brush out of this one than I do this one. And I would say that this oxidises and goes quite orange on your face, whereas the Makeup Revolution one doesn't. So just be careful with that when applying the Tarte one, that once it's settled on your face, it can look a little bit orangey. And another problem with me for this, although I do actually like this product, it probably sounds like I do, that ordering online from, from an American brand can be super hard with colour matching, whereas with Makeup Revolution, I can stroll right into Superdrug and find my perfect colour match. So lastly for the foundations is the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation, which looks like this and it's completely empty. One thing that I would say about this is that the texture of this is so buttery and so smooth. I absolutely love it. I would say that out of the two, this is my daytime and this is my nighttime. The only problem that I would say with the stick foundation is that it does run out quite quickly, so you do find yourself replenishing your stock a little bit more often. So next, this is dry shampoo and this is the Rush Hour Sensational Dry Shampoo by Soap and Glory. <sighs> we know how I feel about Soap and Glory, it's literally the best thing on the planet, I am obsessed with it. And this smells exactly like their body spray. So when you're spraying your dry hair shampoo, like I know that like dry shampoos often are scented, but this just smells like perfume. It is amazing. Like I'd never heard of them doing this before. I actually got it as a gift and I'm obsessed. So I will definitely be rebuying that. So next, this is a nail varnish and this is the Rimmel London in 270 in Sweet Retreat. And this is the Rita Aura colour. So I feel like this is years old, sue me, but it just gone super goopy, but this is literally the perfect pink colour for summer 
and it's one of those colours that when you've got it on people always compliment your nails and I absolutely love that. So I'm hoping that they still sell this and if so I'm going to stock up on it. I'd kind of forgotten that I had it and then I was like oh I want nice pink nails and then I found it again and I'm like oh why has it gone all goopy. On to my lipsticks, this is the only lipstick in my empties which I don't seem to be able to get through my lipsticks and this is my favourite lip colour and I've managed to get through this and I'm just like when will I ever get through all those horrible colours that I've just got like stocked up? I think I'm just going to have to stop wearing nudes and start wearing all different coloured lipsticks for like a year just to get through them all and I can just go back to wearing nudes that I absolutely love. So this is the Rimmel London Stay Satin Liquid Lip Colour in As If. So this was actually gifted to me a while back with the Stay Satin Liquid Lip Collection from Rimmel London. But this does not change the fact that it is my favourite lipstick. Like lip colour, lipstick, it lasts. Like I just love everything about it to the point that I've mentioned this on the Holy Grails but I lost it and I genuinely felt lost. Like I was like, where is my nude lipstick? So if you're like me and obsessed with nude lipsticks I would totally recommend getting this shade it is just such a nice nude for every day but it also looks really nice at evening as well if you've got a kind of like a dark smoky eye so yeah I love this so much and I'm really sad that it's empty on to a little bit of skincare I have got the L'Oreal pure clay blemish rescue mask my skin had an absolute wobble like a few I don't even know like in May sometime May, April, May time, it had an absolute wobble, hissy fit galore, spots popping up all over the show and I just needed something to get rid of them because I just couldn't seem to get rid of them. So I ended up using this religiously, I did it once a week on a Sunday, kind of like church, <laughs> um, and I just made sure that when I was like, I'd sit down, rest with it on, chill then do all my usual skincare routine and I did find that it did help with my spots and it just made my skin feel really fresh again and got it back to normal. So I've got two concealers for this round. I've got the Revolution Conceal and Define and I'm in the shade C3 for that and then I have got the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. So I'm just going to start with the Revolution one. This is my favourite concealer at the moment. It's one that I just keep rebuying. Whenever I run out of it, I restock on it. And I just think that the colour match is so perfect for me. So I think that's one of the biggest things that draws me to it. It is been compared to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I haven't actually tried myself, so I can't comment on that. But I do think that this is a great concealer. It's full coverage. It's really easy to use, It when you put it on your face it doesn't just set immediately, you can kind of like swish it around, you've got time to blend it in and I really, really, really like the fact that it does not cause any irritation to my skin because my concealers seem to have some kind of issue that really like to cause problems with my skin and I don't have problem skin I'm like why are we doing this, whereas this glides on perfectly leaves without some horrible trace and just allows my skin to just breathe. On to the one of the ones that causes me problems. <laughs> this is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer and I guess with it being full coverage you, it is to be expected that it's heavy but for me it didn't feel heavy it just seemed to cause my skin to dry out and then to make it go a bit irritated so <sighs> I don't want that from a concealer. As well, another thing for me is that this kind of slipped around my face quite a bit, so I'd put it under my under eyes and put it on a spot. I'd start to blend it in on the spot, it would disappear. I'd start to blend on my under eyes and it'd go patchy. I couldn't put setting powder over it, I couldn't put highlighter over it, it just used to seem to lift and like... It was just one of those where it was like, you're only wearing me on your face and no other product and obviously that is just not gonna happen. So yeah, I won't be rebuying this one. So next, as you, this has actually still got a bit of product in it but for my own hygienic well-being and just for the fact that I've had this for so long it is time to go in the bin. This is my Ben Knight Super White Powder and this has literally been a saving grace for most makeup tutorials I have done. I use it to, go, to highlight under my eyebrow, I use it to highlight here on my nose, I use it as white eyeshadow, you name it this powder will do it. I'm, I, I can't think 
a, like, a better white powder. I've never really used, I've never really won for using like white face powders until I tried this and then I was literally obsessed with it, setting all my concealer with it for nights out, using it to kind of define under my eyebrow. I just could not get enough of it, but just because I think it's really old, it's time to throw this away and get a new one. Just a bit gutty because I feel like it's not really something that's used much anymore, but it is such a good like powder, so I really hope that I can find it again. Another Tarte product, this is the Tarte The Sculptor. This is a contour pencil. So I really like this. The formula of this is great. It's so buttery, it blends in easy. I like the warmness of the pencil because I've had other contour pencils and they're quite cool toned. Whereas this is super warm, super lovely. It makes you look really tanned. It complements any skin tone. My only issue is with it, because it's so buttery, the pencil snaps so easy, like it just ends up snapping and falling off, like I absolute murders with this, I've got it on my carpet, got it on my dressing gown, got it on clothes that I'm wearing, it just fell apart, so it was super annoying that I'd found like the perfect contour pencil but it just fell apart and I was just like I can't cope with you. <laughs> so onto something a little bit different. This is the Vita Liberata Super Fine Skin Polish and this is basically an exfoliant for your tan made by Vita Liberata who is a tan company. I didn't really get the concept of this. Like I love Vita Liberata tan but this I followed the instructions to put it on and it just didn't seem to shift anything like I still had to get really in there like a loofah and I don't know it, it just it just felt like when you've been to the beach and sand gets stuck to you and then you're like all uncomfortable because you've got sand in places that you don't necessarily want sand so that was a no from me. And last but by no means least is the Tarte Light Camera Flashes Mascara I just love this mascara so much. It makes my eyelashes look amazing. I'm so sad to be parting ways with it. This is the second time that I've bought this mascara, so I will be buying it again. I just can't get enough of it. I love the formula. I love the brush that comes with it. If I can get it out, it's gone stiff. Like that for me, that for me is the perfect mascara brush. It's thick, it's wide, it gets it gets right in there. <laughs> it just makes your eyelashes look amazing. So I would definitely recommend this if you like a nice full lash. So that is my May and June empties. I'm hoping to be back on track with this now. I've literally just had a whirlwind of the past two months. So there's no getting rid of me now. Let me know what you think of these products if you've tried them in the comment section below. If there's any products that you think I should try, also let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys soon. If you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button and come and say hello to me on my Instagram at Molly Had. Goodbye.